Hey, 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 Taurus. How are you doing? Welcome to your mid month reading for March 2020. So, um, we are going to take a look at your past, current situation, and your press, your, yeah, sure, uh, <laughs> in your future, past, current situation, in your future. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, uh, you can always check your Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Uh, the roles could also be reversed, okay? So take it however it resonates and leave what doesn't. So, let's take a look in what's going on in your life. That kind of, that sounded kind of intrusive, but, well, yeah. Let's take a look, Taurus, for the rest of March 2020. What's up with you? So, we have dissipating and acceptance. So, this dissipating card uh, is actually... <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little bit sick. Um, this dissipating card is actually about making excuses, okay? not really putting in the work um, into something okay this could be work um, and paired with that acceptance card i'm actually getting that you may not be putting in the work into something be it work be it love be it whatever it is um, because you feel like you might not deserve it or you might not feel like you're good enough to get that because that acceptance card is about self-love, it's about uh, accepting who you are, accepting the circumstances, uh, it's about confidence, okay? And maybe I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of getting that you may not feel worthy of something. And because you don't feel worthy of something, um, you're making excuses not to move towards that something. Well, that's someone. Could be someone. Okay, so let's see what the romance angels have to say for you, Taurus. Okay. So we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. So yeah, and I do feel like you're not enjoying the moment. You're not really... I feel like you're that lady in the in the couch, just watching television and not really enjoying like the beautiful day that... It could be where you're at right now, you know? Instead of being watching this video, you could be outside. Just... Enjoying the moment that you're in right now, enjoying what you have, what you, what's just surrounding you, okay? And accepting yourself. Because accepting what's surrounding you, it's a step, it's already a step forward into accepting yourself, okay? And accepting those imperfections that you have, okay? But let's see what the tarot has to say. I kind of feel like my voice is terrible. Bear with me. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have Six of Swords. Leaving something behind. Overcoming something, possibly. Yeah, you're definitely healing right now. Whew. Oh, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, so <clears throat> in your recent past, you have the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. So I feel like there is, uh, you could definitely be dealing with an Aries uh, or a Gemini. But whoever it is, I also see Sag, uh, whoever it is, I feel like there was a connection that it was very strong 
but I feel like it wasn't balanced because one of you was like, um, okay, this could actually be one, uh, your thought was, I want to go towards that person with a lot of passion. But the reality is that you didn't move a finger, okay? Uh, it could also be one of you was move, was giving all that passion with the Knight of Wands, but the other one was really, was just waiting and really didn't see the other person putting in the effort. I kind of feel like it's more the uh, first option um, where you wanting to move for it, the this person, this strong connection, but you were just waiting for them to make a move. Okay. And I feel like that didn't really help a lot. Um, something might have actually happened between the recent past and the current situation, but or whatever it is, you're overcoming something. It could be just that exceptions thing where you're healing from possibly past connections or just trying to become a better you, okay? And accepting yourself. And I feel like you're very determined in that. And that is opening up new possibilities for you. Uh, for the immediate future, though, I'm so sorry, but it's not looking that great, to be honest. You have the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. A lot of swords. A lot of swords and a lot of betrayal, a lot of deception, manipulation, uh, a lot of pain. This could actually be you getting over this, okay? So we'll clarify and take a look at that. Let's see the... Let's see the Knight of Wands. I'm also kind of getting that if this Knight of Wands was really the other person that you're dealing with, the Knight of Wands sometimes can be seen as a player, okay? And you might be realizing that and you're leaving that behind, okay? They could also be a little bit controlling with that Emperor. But let's see, let's clarify that Knight of Wands. Well, actually, let's clarify the Six of Swords first <clears throat> to see where really you are overcoming. Eight of Pentacles. The Magician. Wow, the Magician Queen of Cups. That is amazing. Bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, definitely um, going towards love. That's incredible, and it's something that you're manifesting. And this Eight of Pentacles, the reason why I showed it to you, um, quite has it uh, right at the moment that it fell, it's because the Eight of Pentacles can be seen as very uh, putting in a lot of work, you know, and getting your work recognized, um, and being that all that. But for me personally, the Eight of Pentacles is a very putting in the work in yourself, okay. And I feel like you're taking the time, especially with this Four of Swords, I feel like you're taking the time to put in the work on yourself. And that is going to uh, attract to you attract to you a romantic love. It's going to attract to you what you've been manifesting. Okay, by putting in the work on yourself, by enjoying the moment that you are in right now. Okay? Uh, so yeah, now let's clarify the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> oh, well, hello. So this was definitely someone new, or at least it was something that... Some romantic feelings that just started to come out recently. So this could be someone that you met like through friends or something like that. Um, okay, this might be just for a special few of you, but it could also be uh, one night stand. 
It doesn't have to be for everyone, okay? It could be for some of you. But I feel like you were in this, uh, yeah, this very dissipating kind of energy with this Four of Cups. And you might have met them through friends or they were friends. Uh, you were already friends and you just started seeing them um, as a potential partner recently, okay? Um, but either way, I kind of feel like in this this energy could actually be theirs. They could also have been in this Four of Cups kind of energy. And not to, like, take any... Anything, not to take all that is positive in this connection, okay? Because you do have the lovers, okay? So this is a very strong connection. But I feel like it, it was kind of in a moment of weakness, to be honest. That's why they might be showing as the knight of wands, as the player, okay? Um, and again, the roles could be reversed. This could be you. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's better. What, better, what is better? Uh, but... But, yeah. Okay. Let's see the three of ones. Have a page of ones. The illumination card and ten of ones. So I feel like it's kind of actually the same energy as this. But I feel like one of you was more straightforward than the other, okay? Um, there is a lot of burdens here, and I feel like whoever this is, I kind of feel like it's you, um, it's kind of was, kind of trying, um, waiting for the burdens to just go away, you know? Um, but I, I really feel like that was working and I feel like now you are trying to really put in the work and no more excuses and really trying to heal with this four of swords which is very good you're trying to really overcome things and that is attracting to you what you want uh, let's clarify the emperor okay Okay, okay, okay. Oh, George Doris. So, clarifying the Emperor, we have the Fool, the Sun, and the Chariot. The Sun is the happiest card in the tarot. Okay, new beginnings with this Fool. Um, and a very fast movement here. Okay. Um, I feel like this, and it could be this uh, Gemini, or it could be this Aries, whoever it is. Is this very? I feel like it's very this very strong connection that you have here already, um, and you're, now you're just gaining balls. <laughs> this is a very uh, Portuguese kind of expression. I don't know if, if it makes any sense in English, but yeah, you're just gaining the courage to take the lead and just go for it, okay? And you're very determined to do that. To do that, okay? Wow, that's quite incredible. Okay, now the immediate future is what's looking here a bit more concerning. So I might actually want to clarify all of them. So clarify, okay. Okay. Clarifying the Five of Swords is the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords. So things are moving fast. And... It's almost like it's too good to be true. So you're going to start like decepting yourself, saying that, oh no, this is not real, this is not what I want, this, they don't feel the same, this is never going to lead anywhere, things are moving way too fast. BS. Okay, this is a very strong connection and you're happy in it. So just embrace it, okay? Clarifying the Three of Swords, we have Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. You're taking action towards healing this pain from the past. A lot of people could have let you down in previous relationships um, where you could have lost a lot of people by not taking action 
and I feel like you're trying to change that a little bit okay you could have lacked a little bit of self-confidence again uh, confidence self-acceptance um, and I feel like all that is changing okay even though I do feel like you're deceiving yourself um, by like by believing that this is too good to be true and that this is not meant for you okay I do see you working on this pain though okay but at the same time you're just you're putting in the work on something believing are the things that also need work behind you know let's take a look at that ten of swords Ooh, okay three of pentacles eight of cups seven of cups okay so i do feel like you are um, this person might actually help you. This is teamwork, okay? This is partnership. So I feel like this person might actually help you go through this pain and help you release all these uh, burdens and pains and confusion uh, behind, okay? You might also be, uh, you could have been hurt and uh, people might disappoint you and... Um, might have had disappointed you and stabbed you in the back a lot in the past and you might be a little bit afraid that this person will be the same uh, I don't really see it that way okay um, and I kind of feel like this person is going to help you see that okay let's pull some that was quick advice okay so you have has advice you have, and right at the bottom of the deck, uh, this is going to be important, right at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. You have, has advice, the King of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four of Wands. So, what I'm kind of getting is that for you to get to these Four of Wands, you might have to get a little bit out of your comfort zone, okay? Because this King of Pentacles is your energy. Um, and I feel like you might have to get a little bit out of this energy okay and especially break the barrier of these thoughts of this entrapment self entrapment okay this self deceit don't let yourself um go through that path okay i feel like you might have to there is a lot of work that needs to be done by you. I feel like you are already doing it, okay? You are already healing from things, um, dealing from a past pain, but again, you're still... I feel like the self-love, self-acceptance, um, self-esteem is still needing a little bit of work, okay? But you're already attracting to you what you desire, okay? Just don't uh, doubt it. Okay, if it is coming your way, if it is presenting yourself to you, as fast as it may look, okay, it is for you, okay, so accept it, okay? And this is just there. You just might just have to get a little bit out of your comfort zone, okay? <coughs> Sorry. So, Taurus, this is what I have for you. Have an amazing rest of March, and I hope to see you in the next one, okay? Hope this resonated and hope it helped.